yeah, obviously it's pretty exciting to be part of the qualifiers and, and have that uh, second opportunity to try and qualify for Tokyo. And to have earned the right to, to host it is, is really special. So uh, I think we're going to have a really good uh, crowd out in West Vancouver. It's been a community that's been pretty supportive of, uh, of our national team over the last few years. And they really do enjoy the sport. And I think we'll have a, a pretty good event. And hopefully it'll be a little extra boost for our team as, uh, as we play over the weekend. It'll be not quite like a uh, perhaps the stadium in India for the World Cup or something like that, but it might be a little bit more like a club atmosphere in, uh, say, Europe, for example, where you have fans that are right tight to the pitch. Uh, they're almost right beside you as you're taking a sideline free hit or something like that, which is which is pretty fun. It's nice to have people right there, and I think it'll be good uh, regardless of whether it's a big stadium or more of an intimate venue. I think it'll uh, have a really good atmosphere and be enjoyable to play in. Yeah, Ireland's uh, they're a really good team. I think um, they had a really good stretch over about four years from maybe uh, 14 or 15 to, to 17. I think they would probably admit they didn't have their greatest year over the last 12 months or so. Um, but I think that's not indicative of their ability and, and they're going to be really strong and it's going to be quite difficult. Um, they've got some truly world-class players. Um, I think most notably Dave Hart and Goal. So we're certainly going to have our work cut out for us and I imagine it'll be really tight and intense games and whichever team uh, performs a little bit better, we'll, we'll get that ticket. It is uh, certainly interesting and every goal is so important and it, it's something where you really have to make sure that if you are uh, winning or losing in a game, you can't allow, a, say, a lead to be stretched against you or if you do have a lead on, say, day one, you have to make sure you don't concede the goal that will maybe not lose you that game, but it will put you sort of one closer for the next day. So every moment is really important, especially on uh, day one, um, to really set yourself up well. So, I mean, well, I think we'll look a little bit more into the tactics of it if it, if it changes certain things. Um, but it's going to be, uh, yeah, kind of a new and unique way to, to play a qualifier for sure. Olympics has that special cachet to it. Um, and to have qualified uh, with our team in 2016 to, to be able to get back to one uh, right away again would be would be really special. Canada hasn't qualified for back-to-back -back Olympics since 84 and 88, so um, we're certainly excited. It would mean the world to our team and, and be very good for our program and the sport in general, so we're super, super hopeful we can do that.